Monday. And what is Sunday? From Monday. Tell me. Here in this predominantly Haitian neighborhood, the teachers and volunteers at Life of Hope Center impart valuable skills for new immigrants to survive and succeed. The people who come here, they never live in the big city, especially like New York City. So when they come, they have, they, it's very difficult for them. First of all, they don't speak English. Here we teach them English. We don't shine away from helping them, whether or not it's uh, child services they may need, or questions about legal services, because a lot of times, you know, these people, they don't understand the legal services here in America, so they come here, and we do have lawyers uh, that come here, do training with them. We also have the NYPD come here and do seminar with them, and so that way they know about the community in terms of when they, when they need help, they know where to go and get help. Teaching is my passion. I've been teaching. I've been in the field for about over 20 years. And uh, I met uh, Mr. Perez uh, a few years back, and he asked me if I could lend a hand to Life of Hope, and here I am since then. When I caught up with Perez Luxama, one of the founders of Life of Hope Center, he was chatting up a local merchant about her business, asking if she needed any assistance. This block in Flatbush, where St. Jerome Church is located, is the current home of Life of Hope Center, founded in 2006. This is the beautiful church, the most beautiful church, I believe, like in Downey Bird. The most active one is St. Jerome, where people from all over, when they arrive here, this is where they come, St. Jerome. We always pray to Our Lady of, Our Lady of Help, but here in New York City, when we come, this is where, uh, this is where we land. And this is the first church most people like myself go when they come here is St. Joe. And then I'm going to walk you to where we have the classes uh, during the school year because we follow uh, St. Joe uh, calendar school year. So this is the school, the St. Joe school. This is the building we normally have classes, all the classes in the evening time. St. Jerome's school closed in June. Although Life of Hope Center expects to be able to use their classrooms in September, there is uncertainty about what happens after that. We're just looking for partnerships, partnerships with different schools, different organizations or churches to help us um, hold students to have the classes. And uh, besides that, we're also looking for financial uh, sponsors as well. So anyone that can donate so that we're able to pay to stay where we are. Um, that's one of the goals and things that we're looking for we're to right now. One other thing that I think I personally want for this program, one of the steps, is to this place to be, have a permanent location. Because this is actually the third time we moved in the past seven years. We were at Holy Innocent, 2006, we moved to Erasmus, and then now we move here. Thanks to Father Ivo, who provided a place with a couple of help of the city councilmen, who provide a place for us. But I want this place, I want this program to have a permanent place, and this is the place for it. Life of Hope Center will continue to fundraise with their annual gala and other events, and contributions are always needed. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.